good to start. Now the time is 9.30 exactly. And uh, I would like to wait for some time so that the other people may join it. Yes, so one after another is joining. Yes, I could see the bank, uh, Banka Sumita, and uh, let me say by this one by showing the yes, good morning to everybody. Yes, one after another is joining. Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning, good morning, madam. Yeah, the time is 9.31 and today class is, as per the syllabus is concerned, it is uh, Tala and uh, in other words, uh, we will say it is uh, divorce. So, so we will see that uh, classification kinds of divorce in this class with the introduction and we will see the dissolution of Muslim Marriage Act 1939 uh, provisions especially section 2 is concerned then we will throw light on the talaq made during the death illness legal effect of talaq that is divorce then we will go to the conclusion and if possible in one class if not in two classes uh, I will Deal it. And uh, students are joining, so I would like to give some time to them to join. Yes, I could see here, and I don't know whether you are getting the shared one or not, this file, because I, I like to share it. Yes, I made it. Say share. Okay, now we will see. This is the Muslim law, and uh, people are coming one after another. Yes, I could see them on the screen. And I saw their chat also. Yes, now the participants are increasing one after another. Then I will start my class as soon as uh, the grace period is over. And now is 9.33 as far as clock or watch is concerned. And I hope that you are listening my voice and you could uh, see my good morning with the flowers with the blue background. I put it over there. Uh, so, welcome to the today class uh, of uh, Muslim law, which is the uh, first year, second semester course. And the topic today is uh, talaq, that is called uh, divorce. So, generally we have what is divorce and what are the kinds of the divorce and the legal effect of the divorce. Uh, these are the things that we are going to study in this uh, online class. And I hope that you are hearing me well and there is no difficulty. Uh, yes, to hear my voice. Yes, now time is 9.34, still I will wait for the one minute, then I will go. But meanwhile, I would like to show this thing first. See, uh, what are the remedies available uh, to the women? Uh, in in uh, Muslim law, so I have stated here the remedies available to the Muslims in Muslim law is I uh, will make it corner so that you could see the total thing. Yes, uh, one is Muslim personal law that is the Sharia Application Act of 1937 is available to the women as a legal remedy under Muslim law, and the second one is uh, the dissolution of Muslim marriage. Uh, Act 1939 
also available to the Muslims, uh, especially Muslim women. I'm speaking. And the third one is the Muslim Women Protection of Human Rights and Divorce Act 1986. Uh, these are the three legislations uh, uh, protect the rights of the Muslims. Sir, is there any legislation to protect the man? Uh, the answer is uh, in broadly no. But uh, already in Sharia law, uh, more protection is for them. And uh, in the Quran also, there is uh, uh, justification for them. Hence, uh, uh, it is not codified. And uh, as I told you in uh, online classes, uh, most of the uh, Muslim law is not codified. Uh, Sharia law is not codified because uh, um, almost all the problem are uh, given over there uh, in the Quran and Hadith uh, and the rest of the four primary sources are concerned. Hence, uh, uh, we will see the less codification in the Islamic law. Yeah, this I would like to share it. Then I will go to my uh, exact uh, today class is concerned. Yes, now I will change the screen and uh, then I will close the the people those are there, yes, participants are there, and I will close them. Now it is reached to 16, and I wish that uh, the participants, if you could hear it, uh, uh, online classes, that is very much beneficial to you. So in this class, we will deal the introduction and the classification of uh, dissolution of marriage, that is the kinds of marriage, and uh, the provisions of the dissolution of uh, Muslim Marriage Act of 1939, and we will see the talaq nama and the talaq made during the death illness, and the legal effect of the law that is divorce last is the conclusion. This is the scheme which I want to follow. It. Now, I will, uh, this participant still are joining over there on the screen. I could see them. And please, we are welcome. Uh, introduction is concerned uh, like this. For understanding the method of dissolution of marriage, here dissolution of marriage is nothing but uh, either the law or the divorce. But uh, when you say divorce, that is the equivalent of the in English of the talaq. Uh, let us first see what marriage is under Muslim law because the only essential for a divorce under Muslim law is marriage. Suppose if you want to take the divorce, uh, first and foremost, uh, marriage should be valid marriage. If it is not valid marriage, there is no question arises uh, uh, about the divorce. Uh, the dissolution of marriage is known as divorce uh, according to the Dissolution of Muslim Marriage Act 1939. And uh, talaq as per the personal law of Muslims concern. Sir, sometimes you'll say talaq, sometimes you'll say uh, divorce, sir. Yes, uh, these are synonyms. Eh? But when you say the secular law is concerned, you'll say divorce. When you say personal law is concerned, you'll say talaq. Uh, in the both the way, the dissolution in marriage can be made. Answer is yes. Uh, because the both the way, the dissolution of marriage will be made. Uh, either by the judiciary or by the personal law. Uh, that is the way I said uh, divorce is according to the resolution of Muslim Marriage Act uh, and the talaq is uh, as per the personal law of Muslims. Uh, we, use, uh, we use these two terms uh, interchangeably now and then in our class or lecture. So talaq is the Arabic word which means uh, freeing or undoing the knot. Freeing. F or double e i n g freeing or undoing the knot means uh, um, undoing in the knot knot and mudi in telugu mudi ni padam that is the law because mudi is a marriage in another sense uh, in uh, not k n o t not means mudi uh, please note the point so under muslim law uh, the marriage is a contractual relationship between the two parties of course, we uh, read in the, we have seen in the earlier classes, uh, it is a civil marriage and it is a sacrosanct also. All the essentials that are required for the contract uh, are present under the Muslim marriage. Yes, in the last class we have study, studied regarding the marriage as concerned, what are the essential condition for the valid marriage. Uh, there is an offer, acceptance, consent, consideration, the capacity of the parties, etc. Those are the Valid conditions for the marriage. Yes, now the people are joining one after another. Uh, welcome to the class. Uh, then, if I go to the point here, so here what we say is uh, uh, all the essential are required for the contract uh, for the marriage. 
So generally, we know that for the marriage, what are the things should be there? All the conditions should be fulfilled over there. Then we will say it is a marriage. Otherwise, we don't think it is a marriage. So marriage is a contractual relation between the two parties. As I said, yes, all offer, acceptance, consent, consideration, capacity, etc. should be there. Uh, the purpose of such form of marriage is legalizing the sexual intercourse for procreating of children. Yes. Otherwise, uh, there is this uh, stigma would be there without marriage having the children. So, it is uh, one way in another way, license uh, for uh, having the children. And moreover, uh, it is a, a tradition uh, to be married and there should be some function. Uh, in the case of uh, Shohrat Singh versus Jafri Begum, the Privy Council held, the marriage under Muslim law is a religious ceremony. Under Islam, marriage is recognized as the basis of society. And marriage is an institution which leads to uplift, upliftment of man uh, and is also means for the continuance of the human race. So these are the things which is made clearly uh, in the Shohara Singh versus Jafri Begum case law. Then marriage is, uh, is recognized as a basis of society and it is an institution which leads to the upliftment of man. And it is also means for the continuance of the human race. So that was the decision in the Shohrat Singh versus Jafri Begum. Uh, let me go further. Divorce is the end of such a marital relationship. As under Muslim law, there are two modes given for the resolution of marriage, either uh, either through the divorce or the talaq. The Arabic word I so told you, the divorce uh, is uh, talaq, which means uh, freeing and or undoing the knot. Uh, in daily life, uh, these two terms are uh, alternately used, but under Muslim law, uh, if a person seeks divorce, he will be gone by the provisions of the uh, Dissolution of Muslim Marriage Act 1939. So naturally now what is they, they synchronized the divorce uh, under the uh, Dissolution of Muslim Marriage Act of 1939, whereas Talaq uh, proceedings are governed by the Muslim law, personal laws, but in, in one way, in another way, uh, we will see the divorce would be obtained. So now we will see how uh, the chart of the divorce is concerned. Yes, when I am showing the chart here, how dissolution of marriage, uh, the, the kinds or classification of, uh, I already told you that in my last class, uh, type, kind, classification, what we say. Uh, here we will say that uh, classification of dissolution of marriage if you see it, that it is divided into two, uh, you will see on the screen on one side by death of a party uh, to the marriage, the other side by divorce. So these are the broad two divisions, either by divorce, dissolution takes place or by death of the party to the marriage also uh, it takes place. Um, now when the death is there, either there is no difference, either it is a Muslim law or a or it is a dissolution of marriage act will be applicable because uh, it is a natural, so naturally, uh, automatically it will be dissolved. Now, uh, when you come to the matter of the divorce, which is in the man's hand or woman's hand, then we will see how the divorce can be made. So here in the, you might have, uh, you are observing the chart here on the screen, which I shared. Uh, divorce, number one, by husband. Number two, by wife. Number three, the mutual consent. Number four, by judicial decree under the Resolution of Muslim Marriage Act 1939. And especially Section 2's grounds for getting the woman uh, the divorce. But under it, uh, a Liam and Fusk also uh, recognized over there. And uh, in this way also we can get the divorce. Then we will see one after another and how it takes place. But again, you will see in the figure chart, uh, you will find when you say by husband, uh, it is again given uh, the two classifications. See, I'm, I am drag it and you can see it now what the two classifications are there. Uh, by the husband, that is, comes. Uh, by the husband, if you see it, uh, number one, by talaq, number two, ila, number three, zihar. So these are the things uh, uh, where uh, the husband can use it. Uh, like uh, the instruments, he can use it to get the divorce. Uh, when you see the talaq, again it is divided into two. Uh, here, number one, talaqul sunnah. Number two, talaqul biddat. Uh, when you go further, talaqul sunnah, again it will be bifurcated. Number one, 
Ahasan. Number two, Hassan. When you come to the matter of the talaful bidat, uh, it is again bifurcated. Number one, written talaq. Number two, triple talaq. Of course, now triple talaq is atomum. Then it is now made unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. You will see in further in Sahara, one of the one of the cases that is a Sahana Banu, yes. Shahana Banu, I believe, yes. And there it is unconstitutional because it is against the Article 14 of the Indian Constitution. Uh, then we come to the matter of the wife is concerned to the chart. And uh, what is the wife, uh, how he can uh, or she can uh, get the divorce? Uh, that is said, Talakul uh, Tafwiz. Talakhe Tafwiz. So you just forget about the pronunciation and uh, concentrate on the uh, spellings T A L A Q E T A F W I Z. Talakhel Tafwiz. Uh, that is the by that way that uh, a wife will get the uh, divorce. And then come to the third point uh, under the category is uh, the mutual consent. So here mutual consent in the sense um, both the wife and husband consent. Uh, then it is bifurcated into two again. That is number one, Kula. Number two, Mubara. Kula. K-H-U-L-E-A. Kula. Number two, Mubara. M-U-B-A-R-E-T. So the fourth one under the category is by judicial degree under the Resolution of Muslim Marriage Act 1939. Uh, section 2 clearly says, of course, it is hung the section 6. Total sections under the Act is 6. But uh, under the section 2, uh, there are 9 grounds would be there where the Muslim woman get their uh, uh, divorce uh, under, the, uh, under the judiciary. I mean, say, by the uh, judicial remedy, rather we can use the word. Uh, here, there also they recognize Lian and Fusk also comes uh, under the category they have shown uh, in this uh, chart. Uh, then uh, we will uh, see one after another how this will uh, take place. Uh, as I made it very much uh, clear that uh, by the death one and by the divorce uh, two, the, here I cleared. See, by the death of a party to the marriage and by the divorce, uh, one will get uh, the Dissolution of marriage or divorce or talaq. And we will see the first one by husband under the uh, chart. And how the husband will get the divorce and what are the, uh, in the what way that uh, he could make it out. So people are still waiting in the, uh, for my entry. Here I uh, saw the things, I made them enter. Yes. Then I will go for how the husband will make it out. There are four modes available before your husband for dissolving the tie of the marriage. So, uh, there are four modes where the husband will get the divorce. Uh, number one, talakul uh, sunnat, that is uh, one, and talakul uh, biddat, as I told you, uh, that is the, in the divorce I am speaking about it. Uh, so, the first one is talakul uh, sunnah. Uh, this form of talak is effective in accordance with the traditions established by the Prophet. Peace be upon him. It is uh, further divided into two parts. Uh, number one is Ahasan, that is uh, Ahasan Talakh, uh, which is consist of a single pronouncement of divorce made in the period of uh, Tuhr. The Tuhr in the sense of purity um, between two menstruations, that is cycles. Or any time, uh, if the wife is uh, free from menstruation, followed by the abstinence from sexual intercourse, uh, during the period of Iddah. See, I am giving the explanation regarding the uh, Talaful Sunnah, uh, where the first one is Ahasan, and there I am dealing with. Uh, the requirement that the pronouncement be made during a period of Tuhr applies only to oral divorce and does not apply to Talaf in writing. Yes, it is oral divorce, but not uh, writing Talaf. Uh, similarly, uh, this requirement, uh, requirement is uh, not applicable when the wife has passed the age of menstruation or the parties have been away from each other for a long time or when the marriage has not been consummated. Uh, the advantage of this form is that divorce can be revoked at any time before the completion of the period of death. Thus hasty and thoughtless uh, divorce can be prevented. The revocation the revocation may affected expressly or implied. 
So it is Ahsan there. Uh, A-H-S-A-N is what is used over there. It is known as for the best form of talaq, as the name clarifies the same. The procedure followed by the husband is as follows. Suppose if you follow the first category of the Ahsan is concerned, which is uh, most uh, proper form of uh, getting the divorce uh, uh, by the husband under the talaq, uh, the following procedure should be followed. Number one, he has to make a pronouncement of divorce on a single sentence, like uh, tala. Uh, such pronouncement must be made in purity state, and uh, when uh, a woman is free from her menstrual cycle at that instant, at that time, we should have to pronounce that word uh, T A L A Q, uh, because uh, we should not uh, every time we repeat the word. That's why we use the word T A L A Q, and that means tala. Mm -hmm. That is the first one. Uh, the second one uh, condition for that one is a husband must not indulge in any form of sexual intercourse uh, during the Iddat period. Uh, that is a period of chastity uh, a Muslim woman is bound to observe after the dissolution of marriage either by the death of her husband or by the divorce. So that is the Iddat period one should have to follow it. And uh, it is uh, pertinent to note that once the Iddat period has expired, the divorce becomes irrevocable. So, here, once the Iddat period is over, then it becomes irrevocable. But here, the point is, he has to uh, say three times for three tuhurs or three Iddat period. Means, uh, he has to wait for the three months to get the divorce uh, under this Ahasan uh, form of divorce. When the partners have not consummated Talaq al-Ahasan, A-H-S-A-N, Talaq al-Ahasan can be pronounced if the wife is in her menstruation. So, it should not be, there is no consummation and uh, even if it is not her menstruation and if it is pronounced over there, that is also one of the condition for the Hassan. So, the overall of the gist of the Hassan is like this. Uh, number one, in the Tuhur period, that is uh, when the woman is free from the menstruation and the first month, uh, you should say the T-A-L-E-A-Q, number one. And uh, there should not be any consummation, there should not be any other thing. Again, he should wait for the uh, second month. In the Tuhur period, means uh, pure period, uh, when she is not in the menstruation cycle, the second time, he should uh, use the word T-A-L-A-Q. And uh, then there should not be any consummation. And uh, again, he have to wait for the third month. When the, the wife is in Tuhur, there is a purification period. Uh, again, he has to use the third time T-A-L-A-Q. And he had to wait, uh, the third month is over. And if it is the third month also, there is no consummation, then the uh, talaq, T-A-L-A-Q, becomes irrevocable. That is the, actually the procedure of Ehsan. So, I don't know how you followed me, but once you read it, uh, the screen, uh, and uh, hear it, and I am sure that you will follow it. Number one, first month, uh, T A L E A Q in the purification period. Uh, we again wait and no no sexual intercourse meanwhile. That is called consummation. No B B C. Uh, second month, uh, yes in the purity period. Uh, T A L E A Q. Wait no B B C means B B C means uh, body to body contact. So that is the short form I developed it instead of saying every time intercourse or uh, consummation. And third month uh, again purification. And TLEQ, you should have to use it, and no BBC. And if it is over over there, then it becomes irrevocable. That is talaqul ahsan. That is the best form of uh, the talaq because uh, there is a in three months of time, and uh, people will get, uh, uh, they will be cool. There can be possible reconciliation, and their differences will be vanished over there. And that is a time which is given over there in ahsan. That is Talakhal eh, e Ahasan. That is called eh, eh, yes, eh, eh. Uh, When you come to the Hassan is concerned here, uh, this is also Talakhal Hassan approved form. In Arabic, Hassan means good, while Ahasan means very good. Hassan means good, and Ahasan is very good. Uh, this kind of talak is also regarded to be the proper and approved form. Uh, in this form also, there is a provision for the revocation, but is not the best mode 
even words of uh, T A L A Q are to be pronounced uh, three times in a successive tohors. Uh, this is a uh, kind of uh, talaq al sunnah, but uh, considered less approved uh, than talaq al ahsan. Uh, so I beg your pardon, there is a slight difference would be there. Uh, see, in the first ahsan, he need not to say three times, he should say only one time and wait for the three months. Uh, in the second ahsan, uh, he has to use the evil word three times. Three times in a successive to hers. Uh, this is a kind of talaq uh, is sunnah, but considered uh, less approved than talaq al ahsan. Uh, in this form, the husband is required to pronounce the formula T A L E Q utterance the word I diverse T uh, in three times uh, during the three successive tuhurs. If the wife has crossed the age of menstruation, then the pronouncement of talaq may be made after an interval of uh, 30 days between the successive pronouncement. It is therefore a divorce upon a divorce uh, where the first and second pronouncement are revoked and followed by a third only the talaq becomes irrevocable. It is necessary that no intercourse should have been, that is no BBC have taken place during the period of purity in which the pronouncement has been made. For instance, uh, when the wife is in Tuhur without having intercourse with her, the husband pronounced talaq. Let me beg your pardon. And the next is, that is the first uh, T-A-L-A-Q, then he revokes it by words, by intercourse. And again, when he, she is in Tuhur and before intercourse, uh, that is the BBC, the husband pronounced uh, T-A-L-A-Q. This is the second pen pronouncement. The husband again revokes it again and when the wife enters her third period of purity and before any intercourse take place, that is BBC, husband makes a pronouncement of uh, again T-A-L-A-Q. This is the, the third pronouncement. The moment uh, the husband utters, the moment husband utters the third pronouncement, the marriage stands dissolved irrevocably. Uh, in short, I want to explain you that what uh, the Arabic meaning. Hassan is a good, that is the first one. Therefore, divorce pronounced through the Hassan mode is good, but lesser word than the one pronounced in Hassan and husband to make the three successive pronouncements in divorce. Uh, now, let me make you very much clear. In Hassan, Pronouncement of T-A-L-A-Q is only once, but waiting is three months. In Hassan, pronouncement T-A-L-A-Q is three times. Please note this difference. Hassan, only one time T-A-L-A-Q, but three months in the successively, but no BBC in the three months. And in Hassan, uh, in Hassan, H-A-S in Hassan, Three times T A L A Q T A L A Q three times in three months in Tuhar period. That is only the difference between the two. And if you happen to see any book or if you see in the uh, search in the Google also, you could uh, know uh, between the H A S A N and the A H S A N Hassan. Hassan only one time pronouncement and Hassan three times pronouncement in three months. That was the only the differences we will make it out. Please note this point. If I made a, if I, if I committed a mistake earlier, see that mistake will be rectified by this, what I said just now. So, what I want to say here, in the case of menstruation, uh, wife, uh, such as three pronouncements should be made in three consecutive tours, state of purity, that is, uh, come in Hassan is concerned. And, uh, uh, in the case of a non-menstruative wife, uh, pronouncement should be made at the three successive intervals of 30 days. So that was the menstruation is there, menstruation not there, and uh, in such a case, how it can be made, it will be made clear under this one. So no BBC, that is no sexual intercourse, uh, should take place during these periods of uh, three pronouncements, and if such an act takes place, then the process uh, of divorce will be revoked. Uh, talaq Hassan becomes irrevocable on the third pronouncement uh, irrespective uh, of uh, either period. So that would be the Ahasan and Hassan. Ahasan only one time pronouncement but wait for the three tuhurs, three months. Hassan, H-A-S-E-N Hassan, three times pronouncement of uh, T-A-L-E-Q and three tuhurs they have to wait. 
no consumption, then automatically it is become irrevocable. So that is about uh, Talakul um, Hassan and Talakul Hassan is concerned. And now we will see, I don't know whether you followed me or not, but uh, if you if you see the people are joining now also, one after another. But anyway, uh, late is better than never. Then uh, now the time is 10 a.m. And uh, I don't know whether I should uh, continue it. Talakul Biddat, and which is again uh, having uh, uh, the differing from three times, uh, three times at a time will be pronounced. That is called a Biddat. So better I will stop it then I'll ask for the doubts or concern. So it will be quite good instead of going further. Uh, in, instead of going further, let me stop and ask the students, uh, did you, did they understand Hassan and Hassan is concerned. Uh, then, uh, yes, let me stop it. Uh, then I will ask the students. Yes, students are there. And I uh, saw the chart. Uh, yes, chart also that I came to know. Navish or also are there. Yes, other people are there. Uh, I, I could hear you now. Uh, you may ask me the question regarding the what I discussed just now uh, regarding only I discussed now uh, Hassan uh, Hassan and Hassan is only that I discussed now. So let me make us to make it clear because uh, there is no face to face. That's why I need the clarification from the students. Uh, yes, please you can ask me uh, how much I did just now. Uh, what much? How much that you got it? That's I, that I want to get it uh, from you. Uh, yes, anybody can participate. Uh, if they could raise the hand, I could see them uh, in my chat. In my screen, I could see them. Yes, anybody is there? Uh, till they, uh, did, did you understand that uh, the Talakul uh, Sunnah and where I made uh, Talakul Ahasan and Talakul Hassan? Anybody in the class? So, if no one is there, can, are you hearing me? Uh, Nagulta, if you could uh, not hear me, sir. you can chat also. Uh, did you get my point? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. So, shall I continue? I got it, sir. Shall I continue? Okay. Okay, very good. Huh? Continue, sir. Okay, let me continue it if it is so. So, now I will see that uh, Talakul. Uh, Biddat is concerned, yes. Number two, yes, Talakul Biddat. Uh, this form of Talak is introduced by Umayyads. Uh, that is the dynasty we already studied, studied Abayas dynasty, Umayyad dynasty we have studied after the three Khalifas are concerned over. Uh, in order to escape from the strictness of law, uh, this is a sinful form actually, Talakul Biddat. Uh, it is uh, recognized among the Hanafis. Uh, and the Sunni law will not recognize this mode of talaq, that is talaq will be there. Uh, though recognized as a sinful by the two, whereas Shia and Malikis don't recognize this mode, only Hanafi law uh, school will recognize the talaq will be there. Actually, what is talaq will be there? Talaq will be there is nothing but 88 times, three times saying T-A-L-A-Q, 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 over. I divorce thee. I divorce thee, I divorce thee, in one stroke, in one break. If you say that is called triple, T-R-I-P-L-E, triple. When you say triple talaq, that is called talakul biddat. That is uh, only that thing. And a single pronouncement clearly indicates an intention to dissolve marriage and make it irrevocable. So he need not to wait for tuhur of the first month, tuhur of the second month, and tuhur of the third month. And it is usually pronounced, uh, I divorce thee, irrevocable. That is enough, that is called triple talaq. And partners separated to the triple talaq can't remarry without the formality of the woman marrying another man and getting divorced from him. And this process is called nikha halal. So when you say nikha halal, that means, suppose if you divorce a uh, woman by triple talaq, in case if you want to marry the same woman, again, uh, at that instance, you cannot marry her. You have to wait. She has to marry somebody else and get the consummation and he has to divorce it. Then wait for the either period. After that, you can marry her. That is called 
nikha halal halal in the sense here that is not that halal halal the same yes murghi halal kodi halal halal jayadam antar kada telugu lo halal ante permitted here that is the actually permitted by the god is called halal so that is called nikha halal that is called triple uh, divorce uh, in the recent judgment we have already seen that shahara banu s h a y a r a shahara shahayara banu versus union of india and others the supreme court of india declared uh, in the practice of triple talaq is unconstitutional so triple talaq is no more now it is only will study in the uh, syllabus is concerned or it is only theory but practically it is no not at all as uh, this form of talaq is a violation of the fundamental rights provided under the article 14 of the constitution of india so that is uh, regarding the today's uh, point is concerned so now no more triple talaq uh, and uh, again we will see under the same the ila is there that is a o of continents so the ila we will make it out then we will stop what is ila then we will stop it a o of continents is called ila i l a ila besides talaq a muslim husband can re repudiate his marriage by two other modes also that is called ila and jihad and they are called constructive divorce in ila the husband takes an oath not to have sexual intercourse that is bbc with his wife followed by this oath there is no consummation for a period of 4 months after the expiry of the fourth month the marriage dissolves irrevocably but if the husband resumes a cohabitation that is bbc within 4 months ila is cancelled and the marriage does not dissolve under itna sharia that is the shia school ila does not operate as a divorce without order of the court of law after the expiry of the fourth month the wife is simply entitled for a judicial divorce if there is no cohabitation that is bbc uh, even after the expiry of the four months the wife may file a suit for the restitution of conjugal rights against the husband so ila also one of the form of uh, getting the divorce uh, by the husband and uh, the another point uh, the jihad is there and we will see the jihad jihad uh, then we will stop it uh, because the husband role is over by jihad so the jihad z i h e r jihad that is injurious assimilation uh, here a husband must be of sound mind and over the age of 18 years to be eligible to use this mode of dissolution of marriage and if he compares his wife to his mother uh, or any uh, of the female within a prohibited degree the wife has the right to refuse to have sexual intercourse with him uh, at that instance such a refusal can be accepted until he has expiated himself from the crimes prescribed by law uh, what i would want to say is the jihad would be practiced in this way if uh, the husband compares his wife to his mother how a person will compare his wife as a mother so here that will be happen if he compares the wife husband will compare his wife to his mother or any other female within prohibited degree and the wife has a right to refuse to have sexual intercourse with him such refusal can be accepted until he has expiated himself from the uh, penance prescribed by law so it reconciled by the we are fasting for the two months of feeding 60 persons and releasing one slave and she may apply to the court for an order require him either to perform the penance or to pronounce a regular talaq so here jihar will be uh, that instrument is given that uh, uh, by the husband against the wife uh, and uh, compared the wife as a mother or wife as a um, prohibited degree and uh, suppose if you want to free from that jihar then he has to either feed the 60 persons and uh, he has to to Uh, or he has to fast for two months. Or in case if he has the slave, of course, uh, now nobody is keeping the slave now. But at the time, people are still keep the slaves. That's why they say releasing one uh, slave. And uh, she at the time, this is the expiation of jihad will be over. That is, jihad will be reconciled uh, from the husband side. But uh, with the, if uh, the wife wants, yes, she can approach to the court uh, for getting the. A pronouncement or a good talaq also. 
So when you come to the Buddha marriage, there is no such a practice. Uh, that is practice only Shiala, which admits no other sort of reverse by being dissolved by Jihar. Though there is no question of Jihar in the Buddha marriage, and such form of divorce is no longer in use anymore. So today I went only up to the husband's side, uh, how the husband will get the divorce. Again, if you go to the chart, uh, and you will see uh, the chart, see, we covered only by the husband side today. So husband side uh, getting the divorce is, number one, by talaq, that is two, again, talaqul sunnat, talaqul biddat, and again, Talakul Sunnat, we dealt Hassan, Hassan. And uh, when we come to the matter of uh, Talakul Biddat, we read a triple uh, return Talak or a triple Talak. Return Talak in the sense uh, that is Biddat, uh, Talak Nama, they put it in writing. Uh, that is called return Talak. And they uh, get uh, the divorce. Of course, uh, the return Talak also will stay in our further class. And a triple talaq just now I discussed. And uh, we discussed in this class ila and jihar also. And that is from the husband's side. Now the, it is uh, uh, still, for, we have the four minutes in our hand. And uh, still participants are there, as I should say, admit. Yes, uh, now, uh, just, now a person is joined over there. Uh, now I can give the four minutes for you uh, to ask any questions uh, regarding today's uh, uh, topic is concerned. So I I made only up to the only husband side I did it. That is I made an explanation to Talaq and made explanation to Ila and I made an explanation to Jihar. So any doubt uh, in this uh, today's class uh, please uh, raise your hand or you can uh, open your uh, speaker then ask me. Still we have in your hand three minutes with us. Yes, please continue. Yes, anyone can ask me any question uh, regarding the uh, today's class is concerned. Uh, of course, uh, this class I will keep it in the YouTube also so that you could hear it. But uh, if I made a mistake in the thing, I corrected it later. As I said, in Ahasan, only one time T A L A Q will be pronounced, but wait for the three months. To hold. But in uh, Hassan, uh, three times uh, T A L A Q will be pronounced, and uh, three tuhurs we have to wait. Then only it become irrevocable. Please note this point. If I made my lecture a bit uh, mistaken here and there, and uh, you rectify it, uh, and this is the right way which I just explained it. So take in that way. Okay. Uh, still we have the two minutes in your hand, and uh, if anybody wants to ask anything, please you can ask me. Yes, any doubts regarding today's class is concerned? Uh, let me ask uh, Ravi Pagadepalli. Uh, Ravi Pagadepalli. Yes, sir. Uh, now you tell me, uh, divorce and talaq, rundu uh, katena? No, sir. You uh, know, divorce. No, sir. Do you different, sir? What uh, difference? Difference and Talakanta, Oh, sir, legal guy. Court level case, sir. Ah, court level, both are on the ground. Me the victim divorce. Especially court, the other both are in there. Husband board of court key. Oh, sir. Yen do kante husband ko personal law no nadi. Talak diye do. Oh. Ah, ite aada me both are the court key. Aada me kunne on nadi. Jude aada me ki kada talak ko tafis okate on nadi. Oh, oh. Andu kosi me court ko bol sasthe di aada me. Edi uh, section 2, the Muslim Men, uh, Dissolution of Muslim uh, Marriage Act of 1937, 39, yes, 39, yes, sir. Are you good a valid day? Is it good a valid day? Ah, uh, don't do valid day, sir. Don't do that. Talakul Sun, ah, uh, Talakul Sunnat would a valid day. Okay, sir. Uh, 
తలాఖుల్ బిద్దతులు మాత్రం తలాఖుల్ బిద్దతులు మాత్రం ట్రిపుల్ తలాఖ్ ని అన్కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ చేసింది అవును సార్ రీసెంట్ గా చేశారు అహసన్ హసన్ ల మాత్రం ఏ హెచ్ ఏసీ హసన్ ల ఒకటిసారి టిఏఎల్యూ అనాలా కానీ మూడు నెలలు ఆగాల ఓకే సార్ ఓకే హసన్ ల మూడు సార్ల టిఏఎల్యూ అనాలా మూడు మూడు నెలలు ఆగాల అది కూడా తుహుర్ పీరియడ్ లా అంటే ప్యూరిటీ పీరియడ్ లా ఓకే ఓకే సార్ అట్లా అట్లా మీకు అర్థమైంది ఇది కావచ్చు అయిపోతుంది ఏదన్నా పుస్తకం చదివిన లీగ్ మీరు ఆన్లైన్ లో అన్నా ఇఫ్ యూ చెక్ ఇట్ అండ్ బ్రౌజ్ అండ్ ఆన్లైన్ లో అన్నా కొట్టిన మీకు డిఫరెన్స్ తెలిసిపోతుంది అదే ఒకసారి సార్ రీడ్ చేస్తాం సార్ ఒకసారి రీడ్ చేస్తే లెక్చర్ లో నేను కొంచెం రాంగ్ చెప్పినా మళ్ళీ తర్వాత కరెక్ట్ చేసిన నేను అవునవును కరెక్షన్ చేసుకొని మీరు ఒకసారి మరి విన్నర్ అనుకోండి దెన్ యూ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇట్ ఇవాళ హస్బెండ్ సార్ ఉండే చెప్పిన నేను అవునవును ఎస్ సార్ ఇలా అంటే ఏంది జిహార్ అంటే ఏంది ఒక్కసారి చదివితే మీకు అర్థమవుతుంది ఎందుకంటే ఒక్కసారి వినగానే ఉండదు మళ్ళీ రెండోసారి వినాలా అదే ఇది ఫస్ట్ టైం సార్ మాకు ముస్లిం లా అనేది ఫస్ట్ టైం కాబట్టి మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి చదివి మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి చదివి వింటేనే అది మీకు అర్థమవుతుంది అరే సార్ ఇలా అన్నాడు తర్వాత జిహార్ అన్నాడు ఇలా అయింది జిహార్ అన్నది అంటే మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి మీరు చెక్ చేసి మళ్ళీ విని ఇంటర్నెట్ లో మళ్ళీ ఒకసారి కొట్టి వాటి ఇలా వాటి జిహార్ అని ఒకసారి చూస్తే మీ తరపు నుండి కూడా కావాలి కొంత పరిశ్రమ దాటిపోయినా I don't know whether you hear Sorry, good me. Good morning. Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, how far that you got my point? Because I explained in the, in the last, uh, in the Telugu also, the differences between the two. Ahasan and Ahasan. Sir, Ahasan means a Arabic word. Yes. Tepandi. Like, yes. I am hearing you. వినపడుతుందా నా మాట వినపడుతుందా ఎస్ యూ కెన్ స్పీక్ ఇఫ్ యూ స్పీక్ ఐ కెన్ హియర్ యూ నౌ బికాస్ ద స్పీకర్ ఈస్ వర్కింగ్ నౌ ఎస్ హసన్ అనేది ఏంటంటే ఇప్పుడు మూడు సార్లు చెప్పాల్సి వస్తుంది టిఎల్ఏ క్యూ టిఎల్ఏ క్యూ టిఎల్ఏ క్యూ మూడు సార్లు మూడు నెలలు చెప్పాలా హసన్ అయితే అది ప్రాపర్ ఫామ్ ద బెస్ట్ ఫామ్ ఏంది హసన్ ఒకటిసారి అది ఈవిల్ వర్డ్ టిఏఎల్యూకి చెప్పాలా మూడు నెలలు ఆగాలా తోర్ పీరియడ్ లా దట్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ ద డిఫరెన్స్ దట్ విల్ ఫైండ్ ఇట్ సో నా ద టైమ్ ఈస్ టెన్ ఎయిటీన్ అండ్ ఐ లైక్ టు సే గుడ్ బై టు యూ అండ్ దెన్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు డ్రాగ్ ఇట్ టు సే గుడ్ బై దెన్ ఐ విల్ ఆల్సో షో యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఆల్సో టు యూ సో దట్ యూ గుడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సో థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ అండ్ హ్యావ్ ఎ గుడ్ డే and uh, let me see the tomorrow class and you may ask in the middle when i ask the questions uh, give the point to ask the question please you can ask me so that uh, i could understand that you followed me otherwise uh, it is one way traffic because some uh, opposite side also i should get the uh, responses uh, uh, thank you very much for patient listening to me uh, let me stop my today's class uh, goodbye and the meeting yes ending the